Hey everyone, James Lou with Keller Williams Realty, roadhomes.com. Today we are here on site at Allstate Insurance in Warwick, Rhode Island, here to speak with Caitlin St. Laurent, and we're gonna be talking about replacement costs and pre-existing conditions after you move into your home. So I hope you enjoy. All right, Kate, one of the first questions that I hear a lot is uh, the term replacement cost. Where does that kind of fall into play when shopping for a homeowner's insurance policy? Your replacement cost or your dwelling coverage amount is the amount of money that the insurance company is going to pay you if something happens to your home. So let's say a fire comes and knocks the whole thing out. That money that you pick for the dwelling or replacement coverage amount is what we're going to write the check for. Okay. So it's important that you have that number in line with what you're going to need to rebuild. Sometimes that means what you paid for it. Sometimes that could be more than what you paid for it, depending on upgrades that you've made, granite countertops, hardwood flooring, um, and a lot of that sometimes will come in over anyways, just based on if we are going to come in and fix, say a tree came through your roof. Mm -hmm. It's not just rebuilding in a house at a base like $155, $175 per square foot. Now we have to have extra labor, extra materials to make that area safe again, to remove all of the debris and all the damaged materials as well. So that has to be estimated in the replacement cost as well. So it's almost like you can look at it as it's insurance for some of the capital improvements that might be necessary in the event of a disaster. Absolutely. And also, you know, the perils of the disaster as well. Okay. So very important to note too. So when you're purchasing a home, especially you uh, do it yourselfers that are trying to buy a fixer upper, uh, it's really important because it sounds like that your insurance policy or the amount that you're insuring might actually exceed the property purchase price. Is that correct? Yes, and at any time during that contract we can go and, and, and revisit it as well. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that with our annual reviews or semi-annual reviews, however you want to set it up, that you are covered for what you need in case something happens. So if I just installed a brand new kitchen, brand new bathroom, that would be something that would come up in your annual review? That is definitely something that we want to touch base on just to make sure that if anything happened, you are going to get that money to rebuild it exactly how it was when it was damaged. Perfect. So that's replacement cost and it's always important to make sure that you bring it up uh, with your insurance agent. Yes. All right, Kate, the other question that I want to ask you today is, in the event of a pre-existing condition or that there was another underlying problem, uh, does that homeowner's insurance policy cover pre-existing conditions? So as far as when you purchase a home, we will come out and do an inspection. If it's under $750,000, then we are just gonna do the outside. It's so important to have a good home inspector and this is probably the number one reason. Mm -hmm. If there was, say, an ice dam, from before and the people didn't fix it your the prior owners didn't fix it properly and now you find out after a big <clears throat> rainstorm that there's damage to your home after the fact there is not going to be coverage under your home policy okay. we will only cover perils happening at the start of you purchasing the home right. or purchasing the policy with right. us and moving forward mm -hmm. so any previous underlying conditions there are, are not going to be covered. So again, so important that you have an excellent home inspector uh, to come out and take a look and, and listen to what they say before you before you make that decision to buy. Yeah, that's great. And buyers, always keep your, your homeowner inspection, your property inspection summary sheets, save them. They are the best way to identify any possible pre-existing conditions. Ice damming, floods of March 2010, Best thing you can do, save that summary sheet. Thanks, Kate. You're welcome. And that concludes our questions here with Caitlin St. Laurent from Allstate Insurance. Caitlin, thank you very much. Thank you so much, James. I just want to let everybody know if you have any questions about your home or auto policies, I would love to be able to help you out. You can give us a call here at 401-732-1001. Thank you.